We are attempting to reach level 170, which will allow us to finally play Enchanted Forest. And man, Enchanted Forest will truly be crazy. And I can 100% guarantee that we'll be making it in this episode. Also, you might already notice that I'm doing quite a bit more damage. Yeah, I'm quite literally one-shotting some of the monsters. Now, the reason for this is because I actually got like a completely new set along with two tier 3 rings. And yeah, these rings honestly go crazy. Like, they allow me to just do, like, rapid damage and also get this bubble around me. Really, I would have never imagined a world where I'm one-shotting aquatic temple monsters. That is literally insane. But boys, I think Enchanted Forest is a whole new game, and I'm prepared for it. And since we do, like, quite a bit more damage, and since we have these rings, I'm really thinking of doing Nightmare Hardcore once we reach it. I truly think that if we lock in, we could do a hardcore run. Yeah, I'm super glad that this mob health update came out, bro. I- this is like the best update ever. However, one kind of sad thing that's gonna happen when we hit Enchanted Forest is that I think all of like the mob health stuff is gonna be reduced. So there won't be as much of a crutch for us in that dungeon. So I don't know, it might be pretty hard for us. But bro, I absolutely love this dungeon. This dungeon is so beautiful. I know I say it like a lot, but this is like my all-time favorite dungeon. And I remember in the last series, we were not able to do hardcore. So if we can avenge ourselves, that would be amazing. To prove if mage is actually better than warrior. And also, we leveled up to level 162. Yeah, we are very quickly leveling up due to the 2 times XP event. Now, while I do think Enchanted Forest will be harder in a lot of ways, I think that overall, it won't be too much more difficult. Enchanted Forest, in terms of enemies, is much more easy than a dungeon like Aquatic Temple. Really, the only place where Enchanted Forest gets super difficult is its bosses. Dude, the bosses in Enchanted Forest are actually crazy. But even compared to Aquatic Temple, it's not too much harder. And speaking of bosses, we have the King of Camera Shake, the Aquatic Temple Protector. And man, this guy is so cool besides the fact that he does camera shake. Like, you see my camera shaking all the time? That is not me doing it. That's this literal dungeon. But this guy, like, this soup, this attack right here is so cool. Really, there's not much complaints that you could have with this dungeon. This dungeon is overall just so amazing. I guess the one kind of small complaint I could have with this dungeon is the boss health. I think the bosses have quite a bit of health and it gets a little bit annoying, but for the most part, that's really it. But bro, being able to one-shot the mobs is so crazy. I really hope this stays this way, and I really hope the progression doesn't get too much worse. We still do have three days left on the two times XP, so it shouldn't be too bad. I think that if we can get to, like, Northern Lands with this two times XP, I will be very happy. And I think that's a pretty achievable goal. And man, it's crazy. This is, like, the shortest noob to godly ever. If we make it to the final three at, like, episode 15, that would just be, like, absolutely insane. We could actually do an under 20 part noob to godly series, which I think I don't think anyone else has ever done that Although to be fair, I am using XP boost, which I know a lot of people don't but still it's kind of crazy We are grinding boys So you definitely want to subscribe to join us in this journey. We are now in the intermediate phase of noob to godly I probably said that a lot of times before but now we're real and also we got ooh, we got a pretty cool warrior weapon now similarly to the last episode i'm gonna try to save some of my daily challenges and also my daily reward for when we hit enchanted forest because i truly think we're gonna need them i don't think enchanted will be easy but i guess i'll do like one round just to like i don't know and also we can officially do tier three but i know there is practically no chance on earth we win that and we're back in the hell of boss raid and also i think we just one shot the boss yeah it's super easy and we got we got a blue weapon but it's not that good but man we are grinding this out also if we look at the quest log you'll see that we are almost able to get 1000 platinum however we only have a day and 21 hours left but i think that we'll be able to get that today and that's gonna be good because we can buy like cosmetics and stuff also one thing that's kind of crazy is how many gregs we've been getting in this series it's honestly insane like legitimately how much 
Greg we've been getting. Like, it feels like Greg after Greg after Greg. And that's gonna be good, because we're gonna be able to craft some weapons, and potentially the Oracle's Ascendant. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna go for crafting the Oracle's Ascendant, as it does take a lot of materials. But I think we could probably get, like, the first two or three weapons relatively easily. But these rings that I got are honestly so crazy. Especially, like, this shield bubble, which literally just protects me from taking damage. While the Hella rings, I would say, are a little bit worse, I think they have cooler ideas. I think the Goliath ones, though, with its, like, passive heals, cannot be beaten. Passive heals are so good, and we're definitely gonna need to get that a little bit later. What I'm really hoping for Nightmare is that we do get a lot of Gregs, and potentially, like, some other stuff. We still do need to get, like, two more cosmetics for the Excalibur, and currently, we've been kinda unlucky. We did get one from Ghastly Harbor a while ago, but getting the Aquatic Temple one would honestly be crazy, and also, we got Greg. Bro, our Greg RNG, it's like every game. I feel like they improved it, because no chance I'm getting this many Greg. Yeah, I feel like the luckiest Dungeon Quest player alive, but this RNG really doesn't mean much if it's insane. Nightmare is gonna be what gets us those legendaries, those collectibles, all of the good stuff. Also, oh my gosh, we literally one cycle Greg, but we got a bunch of trash for our drop. It's so crazy, though, that we could make it to Northern Lands, like, next episode, and then we'd already be in the final three dungeons. We could actually make it further in this event. That is just, like, wild to me. Also, we leveled up to level 164, which means that we're just a single level away from Nightmare Mode. Yeah, truly, this series, this was a noob to godly speedrun. And I think probably my end goal would be to try to get, like, three cosmetics and potentially the Oracle's Ascendants. I might try for other things, but those are my main goals. And of course, we will likely time this out to where the last episode comes right before the next dungeon. So then we can actually do like Noob to Godly on the next dungeon. But of course, I will have to do like a lot of off-camera grinding to meet the level requirement. But what's good is that they did buff Yokai Peak XP, which is probably like the best thing they could have ever done. Because Yokai Peak is like the slowest progression you can ever have. Well, I guess they didn't really buff XP, but they did like nerf the damage. Like I mentioned, before the xp rework that's the main thing we need right now but this dungeon bro this dungeon is so good i really just like love all of the views in this dungeon like we kind of ascend up these kind of areas and above like the sea level area and you just feel very small in comparison to the dungeon and there's just so much to see but the main thing we're gonna need to do is complete these quests and it shouldn't be too hard we only need to complete like 13 more dungeons on nightmare and barely any more just regularly and then we'll get we'll get platinum bro that's gonna be nice i don't think i'll spend any of my platinum on anything else besides cosmetics because realistically like what else are you really gonna need like boost yeah whatever i don't know that's what i would probably recommend you guys do as well because cosmetics are really the only thing that actually have like legitimate value unless you're trying to progress through the game don't get anything else but cosmetic but even like the sea king look at this area it's like in this kind of coliseum like like area and it just looks so cool the design of this dungeon really is nice to me and also when we hit nightmare i'll probably go and trade for a legendary since we do have like two volcanic leads also yo we got a blue helmet oh shoot that's good i probably won't upgrade it but that's actually a really solid drop this should be our final game of insane mode and man i'm excited because we're gonna be attempting to do hardcore mode i think i'll probably first go and trade for a legendary just so we can really really be capable of doing it and yeah i think with the legendary we would be able to one shot the mobs or at least come very close because that was the same way with volcanic chamber but truly this xp boost has been the biggest godsend ever bro i these xp events are so good really this is how the xp should be normally like this xp is so good but enchanted forest will be crazy yeah enchanted forest i would say is one of the best dungeons in the game just because of its immense amount of detail like Enchanted Forest is one of the most detailed maps in the game, and also one of the most beautiful ones as well. Which is why I would say in terms of quality, it is a better dungeon than Aquatic Temple. And really, there's not many dungeons that beat that. It's short, but it's very good. Also, if we look at our boost, we still have 81 hours left of XP, along with 86 hours of luck. Yeah, we're gonna finish this series, I think, with quite a bit of XP left. And also, we leveled up.
up to level 165. And yeah, I think I'll probably just leave because there isn't much of an incentive for me to play. But since we aren't collecting our daily reward, let's just go and quickly switch into a full set of aquatic temple armor. Now, I'm going to attempt to trade for a legendary. However, I don't know if this will be possible. But yeah, let me skip to when I get it. And we're back with a full set of Riptide Mage armor. Now, we did actually manage to get the legendary. However, I think I got kind of lowballed. Yeah, this was the trade that I made, and I don't think it's like amazing pot. However, I don't really care about that. I just want to go and attempt Nightmare. So, man. Wait, hold up, hold up. Before we go, I have to equip this spell. I completely forgot to equip this spell. Okay, now we have this spell. And checking out the damage of the spell, we do around 60 trillion. All right, well, now we can finally go and do Nightmare for the very first time. Man, hopefully we can do good right now because we're not going to do... I don't think we're going to do an insane amount more with the Legendary. So we have to master this to be able to do hardcore. But testing out the damage of this new spell we do... Oh my... Yo... We already, like, one-shot some of the mobs. That's insane. Bro, this aquatic smite spell that I'm using is, like, one of the best spells in all of Dungeon Quest. This spell legitimately beats Yokai Peak stuff. This spell is so good. Yeah, I remember I ran mage in this dungeon, and it was just so great using this spell. But it's crazy that we're already, like, one-shotting mobs, and we don't even have, like, a, the best set we can get. Also, I love the animation of this, like, weapon. This weapon looks so nice. The way he kind of, like, runs forward is very sick. Honestly, this is one of the drippier sets in this game. Also, I love how the blue kind of goes well with like the legendary spell and also the bubble. Like this entire set just matches so perfectly. If only I got like a blue aura. But I have full confidence that with a legendary spell, hardcore should not be too hard. And boys, we are really on the final stretch to Enchanted Forest. This progression has honestly been insane. I mentioned two episodes ago that we would not be getting like one dungeon per every video, but bro, that has changed. Bro, I swear it feels like I'm just on my main account playing this dungeon. It's so easy. Truly, if Enchanted Forest stays this way, I'm gonna be happy. And for our very first round of Nightmare, we got Greg. This is good because we can get Nightmare gear. Really, the main thing I'm hoping for with this dungeon is to get a cosmetic. The cosmetic for this dungeon is one of my favorites in the game. And also, we're kind of due for a cosmetic. We haven't gotten one in quite a while. I think in the last series, the second cause we got was Enchanted Forest. And also, we got a bunch of trash. Yeah, I think for the last series, we got the Enchanted Forest cosmetic and the Steampunk Sewers one. And for this one, we got Ghastly Harbor. Honestly, I want to get any other cosmetic besides the Enchanted Forest one. That one looks so trash really the only thing bad about that dungeon but man one-shotting mobs it will always be my favorite part of playing this game i know it would seem like unfun to just be able to one-shot everything but for me i don't know my brain just works differently this is fun to me but man one thing i'm very excited about with this series is the next dungeon i don't even know how that will work i definitely think that the rules of the series will not apply once i reach like yokai peak nightmare just to make it even possible to do the next dungeon because let's be honest the next dungeon is likely going to be very difficult and even with like a group of players it will be very hard so let alone me being a solo without the best set is not going to be even possible but i think it should make some good content i'm hoping that before the next dungeon drops they do do another event just for like people who want to grind up to the final dungeon i think it would be very fair to allow people to be able to very easily get to the last dungeon before it comes out or at least i think that they should do like yokai peaks x XP boost before it drops. I think that would really just bring a lot of hype to the update, but we're on the Sea King. And man, this Nightmare Run has honestly been super solid. I think we're actually doing better than we were doing in Insane, which is just crazy. With the Legendary in hand, it will be... And it'll be free, bro. Nightmare, I don't even think Nightmare will be a struggle. I mean, if we could do Nightmare on Volcanic Chambers, I feel like this dungeon could be pretty easy as well. Maybe besides the Sea King. The Sea King is the only hard part. And with that, we defeated him and got... Oh, we got an Oceanic Greatsword. That's actually a really solid weapon. Now, boys, while I was off-camera grinding, I actually got a really insane drop. And that's this purple Tier 1 Warrior Helmet. Now, this was actually very, very good pot, which allowed me to trade for an entire set of mage armor with both a purple and blue piece and of course the legendary as well and yeah checking out our damage with this new set we do okay it's glitched but i think we do a lot and also like raid 
the drip, bro. This has to be like one of the top like three drippiest sets in all of Dungeon Quest. Yeah, truly we are at an high in this series. But of course, what we have to do now is play Aquatic Temple on Nightmare Hardcore. Man, I wonder if we'll be able to do this. I think we should pretty easily be able to do it since we have a good set. However, it could be difficult. Also, we did uh, do one of our things, which is completing 44 dungeons. So claiming that reward, we got like barely any XP. But we only have one more quest to complete to get a thousand platinum. But yeah, this should be like the easiest one shot ever. Oh yeah, 80 trillion damage that's free i think bosses as well should be like a four shot which is honestly insane yeah like look at bro look at this damage to the boss this is just wild i'm so glad that we got that drop because this is gonna help us so much man this damage is just wild bro i think that i'll be able to completely out damage the mobs to the point where i won't even be able to really take damage although i don't know sea king and the second boss are pretty difficult and also we leveled up to level 167 which means we're just three levels away and honestly i don't even want to leave this dungeon bro this this gear looks so cool like the white stripe behind his back i mean this is just such a good looking set and just being able to go around one shotting all the mobs is really crazy but yeah i don't think that this set will be powerful enough for enchanted forest so we will probably have to go and get a better set but that's a worry for actually a little bit soon we are really nearing enchanted forest and also we got greg just like every other game and even to greg we do quite a bit of damage this is definitely like a two cycle for sure and we got a riptide mage helm but that's really trash because we already have like the best set in the game yeah i don't think i would have ever gotten a full purple set in this series i'm like actually close to a full purple set it is low pot but hey you know i'll take it bro i think even without the spell we almost one shot the mob yeah this is really a true highlight in dungeon quest and we're on the ancient temple protector and i think i'm gonna go and quickly get a heal uh just to play it a little bit safe we don't have passive heals so we do have to play a little bit safe but even to this boss i do a crazy amount of damage but the camera shake that's gonna be what kills us if we're not careful camera shake will screw us over oh no dude it literally 360'd me i swear the camera shake is so unpredictable as long as we can just hit him one more time we hit him but we're literally about to die well i'll definitely have to heal again before the final boss i definitely is i'm not expecting this to be like super easy even with the full purple set oh bro i just love this dungeon dude and being able to experience it in this way is honestly just such a such a good thing and we're on the sea king and before we fight him i'm gonna go and get another heal one thing i don't like about this new ui is that it does cover like the spell cooldown so you don't know when to switch back like i don't know like if my ability is off cooldown which is pretty annoying if i'm being honest but i gotta lock in on the sea king the sea king is very difficult even while doing a lot of damage and i already took damage no that's not good if you stand in this square it's quite a bit easier but no i'm one shot already i have to be careful and oh my bro I i'm i'm getting a revive potion i don't care dude that is actually so annoying that i died like that it's all right it's all right as long as i just continue to lock in i should be good and there we go we defeated the sea king and be hardcore for the very first time also we got three pieces of trash i'm not gonna lie i feel the progression starting to slow down quite a bit however it has still been very good and also i believe we just completed our final weekly mission which is completing 28 dungeons on nightmare so now now we can collect 1000 platinum let's go also we can just go and claim these other two as well and we gotta yo we gotta level up from doing that yo that's crazy bro i literally gotta level up from just doing missions but there is another one which is completing five runs of desert temple in like a short amount of time so i think i'll probably do that after this game just to kind of you know get our final daily mission and get a little bit of platinum yeah i did mention how they didn't like make you play old dungeons but i guess some missions do but it doesn't seem like it's as much as like it was before and that's what i truly like and also when we do desert temple we can also get like cosmetic which is pretty good but boys what's crazy is that we're only one level away from enchanted forest truly i think we can hit northern lands with this xp boost i really think it's possible and that's crazy because that's the final three and man i remember hitting northern lands in the last series at like episode 28 or episode 29 i don't even remember it took so long back then also we got greg I, it's not even like exciting anymore to get greg because we get him so much 
Hey, you know, I'm not complaining. Yeah, I'll probably go and check the progress of like the craftable weapons after this game. And then of course, go and do the rounds of Desert Temple. And then after that, we're gonna be able to make it to Enchanted Forest. And yo, we got a Triton Mage Helm. Let's go. W drop. Last episode, we got like a gray collectible and a legendary. This episode, we got a purple collectible, a gray one. We've been pretty fortunate recently. Man, I'm starting to get quite a good at this dungeon. Truly, this is a high in this series and really one of the better moments. Also, we killed the boss that died at the same time. Yo, that's crazy. But what's also going to be nice about completing this series is I'm going to get another alt to use from grinding. I know this is kind of like a thing that only applies to me, but you guys can do this as well. But bro, having like two noob to godly alts along with another one and my main is going to allow me to get so much yokai peak gear. Hopefully, it can inspire you guys to grind out alts because trust me, it's worth it. The amount of gear you'll be getting after like getting alts is insane insane most of all of the good gear that i get comes from my alts and this account will only add but with that we defeated the boss and got a spell which isn't all too good now boys we've been getting a lot of gregs recently so let's go and see how close we are to crafting the first weapon and we are actually able to do it if we transfer some like weapons i think we can do it or if we exchange some material yeah, if i go like that and exchange that and then just do one exchange on that we can now craft the very first weapon and of course we got to do the staff which is the oracle's gate so let's go we didn't even have to greg farm at all and we already got the first craftable weapon which looks kind of goofy and i did mention that we would be doing our desert temple runs but now that i think about it i think that i'll wait until we hit level 170 just so that if we get greg on those desert temple runs i'll be getting enchanted forest gear and of course as well we'll be doing our daily challenges and daily reward once we hit level 170 so yeah let's go and do that and of course with that this should be our final round of aquatic temple and man i'm truly gonna miss this dungeon however I, the progression definitely has slowed down like a lot but honestly it hasn't been too brutal nothing like last series or even previous dungeons 4 and truly i am excited for enchanted forest however a lot of preparation has to happen before we reach that dungeon but i know that with this new update and with a good set i'm capable of beating it and enchanted forest is in terms of difficulty quite a bit easier than aquatic temple but i still feel it could be a challenge but man we are such high level dude i bro it's crazy like how we've been able to progress so fast in this series yeah we've truly been speedrunning, and i'm definitely gonna miss playing through this dungeon maybe for our final round we'll get a cosmetic and that'll be a good way to end it with volcanic chambers we got a legendary on our final round but i think the atmosphere of enchanted forest actually does beat this dungeon that dungeon is actually one of the most insane dungeons out there and truly one that i think is underrated and this dungeon i feel like is a good preparation for that dungeon as a lot of elements are retained but really the most similar dungeon to this dungeon that's coming up would be northern lands northern lands is very very similar to this doing a lot more different and then of course we have gilded skies and yokai peak which are really the last dungeons i swear this series has felt so fast but we still do have quite a ways to go but we'll level up on the sea king hopefully on the sea king yeah i think it'll probably be on the sea king and the sea king is quite the difficult boss probably more difficult than any enchanted forest bosses and that's saying something because enchanted forest has pretty difficult bosses but yeah one thing i won't miss from this dungeon is the sea king bro this guy is so hard and with that we leveled up to level 170 let's go now before or if i do any trading i'm gonna go and firstly collect my daily reward oh and we got a green mage helm and yeah I'll also go and do my two daily challenges and then do like the five rounds of desert temple for the quest log and after all of that if we don't have good enough gear i'll go and trade for other stuff i think we could probably do tier three but i don't want to risk it there is a lot of gear on the line but so far we have the mage helm Helmet and I think that's a warrior spell. I don't think that's a mage spell. But defeating our first Hella, we get that's mostly just garbage. Yeah, that is nothing good. All right, well, maybe our final round of boss raids will give us something good. Okay, please give me something good. No, I did not get anything good. I got a freaking ring, bro. All right, well, maybe Desert Temple could give us some good stuff. Man, it feels great to be back in Desert Temple. It's been such a long time. But yeah, for this goal, we need to complete five rounds of Desert Temple in under one minute and 40 seconds. So we do kind have to speed run this so i got the pulse waves to kind of help me out also one thing i want to do while we're here is go and collect the easter egg because we still haven't gotten
on like the Easter Excalibur rune. So I think it probably comes from doing these legacy dungeons, or I guess these reworked dungeons, which also have eggs. And yup, this is what I mean. We get Greg in our first run. Yeah, that's why I saved this. I'm super glad I saved this because we are able to now get like enchanted forest stuff and it doesn't even take time off the clock. Also, look at that damage to Greg, bro. Insane. I swear, Greg is either free or super difficult. And with that, ooh, we got two materials, but for the most part, nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's nice how we can kill two birds with one stone, getting gear from Enchanted Forest while also doing one of our missions. And we completed our first run, but it doesn't say we did it, so I don't know. It might be weird. All right, well, this time I'm going to go and quickly get the egg. Hopefully, we don't lose too much time. Oh, I already collected it. Okay. And we got run, run kind of marked off. To be honest, I'll probably do the rest of these later. For now, let's go and do Enchanted Forest. And so I guess this is the current set we're going to be working with for Enchanted Forest. Which I guess will work for today, and I'm really a bit too lazy to trade, so I'll just use this. I think it's not too bad. Obviously, I'm gonna put, like, a cosmetic over this, because this looks absolutely hideous. But checking out our damage, we do about... Wait, how do we only do 20 trillion? What? Alright, well, I'm not gonna question that too much. Let's go and finally play Enchanted Forest for the very first time. And man, we are finally in the Enchanted Forest. This took so long, but we finally made it. And checking out our damage, we do... Oh, yo, this is free. We do over half of their health. Oh, shoot. This is actually really good damage. Yo, this damage is crazy. And man, we've really just came to a new world. Look, like, look at this map, dude. This map is so beautiful and just so detailed. It looks absolutely amazing amazing also the enemies are super cool as well being like these mushroom kind of warriors and we're on the first boss being the crystal golem who might be one of the most creative bosses in all of dungeon quest because firstly we have to go into like kind of this green safe zone which is a pretty cool mechanic but an even cooler part is that you have to like kind of build a wall to protect yourself from an attack i might miss this yeah i missed that one but this dungeon just looks absolutely breathtaking but you see i'm like building i have like this chunk in my hand and then i build a wall with it it's so cool but it's very easy to tell that a lot of work was put into this dungeon and it definitely pays off but we defeated the first boss and we're on the next section of monsters and every single group every single area could just be like captured in a picture it looks so good but really what's to come is the best part the last two bosses are really insane but we do have to lock in we kind of died a few times so that's not going to be good we really need to lock in to be able to beat this dungeon and our set is pretty mediocre but before we do that, we got to get our daily screenshot. And this honestly looks insane. But I definitely think it's the rings that's helping our damage quite a bit. Also, I got to find the ring again. I have to find the ring. It doesn't look good in the screenshot, so I have to unequip it. All right, I think this was the ring right here. Yeah, truly, this dungeon is amazing. But also, it's one of the more easy dungeons in this game i definitely think it's the easiest dungeon of like the five final dungeons which is good and its length isn't all too bad like it's a relatively short dungeon however it does a lot with that shortness and is by no means a bad dungeon whatsoever i really think the only thing bad about this dungeon is its cosmetic but we do really have to lock in we only have five minutes and 30 seconds but the final boss is like right next to this area and also we got greg yo bro greg every single game i'm telling you guys has there even been a single game where I haven't gotten Greg in this video? It has just been like back to back to back Greg. Also, our damage is really insane, yo. With that, Greg has been very easily defeated. And also, we got a purple weapon, but I don't think it's better than what we have. But here we are on the ancient enchanted tree. Look at this boss. Bro, there cannot, it cannot be a bad dungeon if one of the bosses is a literal tree. Yeah, I really love how this boss kind of forces you to move around him and then makes you kind of like kill these orbs which do more attacks. It is just a very cool section overall and definitely more fun with a group of people. Having like a group of people and just having like two people between each of the lasers is super fun. Yeah, the memories of playing this dungeon are actually insane. This dungeon really does bosses better than most other dungeons. And honestly, I would say of all dungeons, this dungeon probably has like the best bosses. I'll just say that right now. Because I really can't think of a dungeon with better enemies or bosses. But we have four minutes left and we're approaching the final boss. And the final boss is a very, very difficult but very cool dragon. That dragon 
Fantasy Enchanted Forest Dragon. And look at his design, bro. This boss has one of the best designs of any boss in Dungeon Quest. And the music as well. The music for this dungeon and especially this boss is some of the best. And he has some just very enjoyable attack. And it's good that he got a huge nerf because this guy was very difficult beforehand. Really, this was a dragon boss that players have been wanting for so long. Finally seen in a dungeon. And also, we're literally on a no death run on this boss. That is really crazy. And I think one more hit and this guy's dead. Just a single more hit. Come on, come on. There here we go. He beat Enchanted Forest for the very first time and also got a mage chest play. That's not bad. But ladies and gentlemen, I have episode 15 on the screen for you guys. So definitely go check it out because we'll be attempting to make it to Northern Lands. And for now, I'll see you guys later.